Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, How are you today? Uh, I am. Como digo, estoy muy cansada y muerta de cansancio. <laughs> I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. Well, I mean, exhausted. Uh -huh, you can also say I am exhausted. Ese me gusta. I am exhausted. Exhausted. Thank you, teacher, for example. Gracias por los ejemplos que mandó al WhatsApp también. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Uh, we're going to practice. Vamos a practicar speaking with those exercises. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yo tengo una consulta. Yeah. Es con, con en la plataforma. El Ajá. 11, yo he tratado de todas maneras y no, no le hallo, fíjese, según los ejemplos. Uh, lo intento y no. Teacher, uh, okay, say to me, I try to solve uh, exercise 1.11 and the last exercise I can solve. I couldn't solve this exercise, I don't know. Okay, thank you for bringing that on. Uh, we're going to take them right away. I think if, if I am not mistaken, I think that this is an exercise that you don't need to cover here. But um, 1.11, entonces es este, el reading. Uh, that, yeah. yeah. Ah, this one, the knowledge. Yeah. yeah. This one, yes. Let's see the instructions just to complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers from how often, how well, how good, how long. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 so. <laughs> ah. Okay, entonces tenemos que llenar con how often, how well, how good, y how long. Escucho que ya varios llegaron acá y tienen problemas con este ejercicio. Um, en la última. En la última nada más o en todas. Sí. Ah, no, yo todas. En la última. En la última. En la última. All right. So, la uno, ¿qué pusieron ahí? Uh, how good are you? How good are you? Are you? Yeah. How good are you? Um, number two. Uh, how, how, how long do you? How long? Yeah. How long? How long do you? Uh, number three. How long do you? Yo tengo una. Necesito ayuda con, con el ingreso a la plataforma porque me dice que mi correo o contraseña son incorrectos. No sé por qué no puedo ingresar. Desde ayer estoy tratando, pero no puedo. Ok, en eso le pueden apoyar los niños de soporte técnico. Lo que sé es que tiene que ser el correo que usted brindó en los papeles. Eh, ¿Por qué? Sí. Eh, tenemos un correo del trabajo y tenemos un correo personal, entonces tiene que ser el que dio en los papeles para inscribirse. Uh -huh. El mismo, solo uno. Uh -huh. Yo que es una genérica, que todos es la misma. Uh -huh. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Sí. Y si no funciona, si sí tiene que comunicarse directamente con Jimmy, con David uh -huh. o con Jonathan, los niños de soporte técnico. El número de ellos está en el grupo. Son los administradores. Sí, ellos. Con cualquiera de los que dicen administradores. Mm, ok, gracias. Ok. 
Eh, la número tres dijimos. How often do you? Ajá, how often. Por la respuesta vamos ah. how often. Y, uh, do you? I, I tried old answers and I can't to solve this exercise. Igual yo le he puesto de todo, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I could be uh, how well. well yeah. How well, yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. It's bad. Oh. And it is incorrect. How well do you? Oh, how well are you? Ya me están te... <laughs> <laughs> Será que hay que escribir el type también. How teacher, well? Teacher, teacher, y si la respuesta dice no very well, eh, la pregunta tendría que haber sido con how well. O puede ser con otra. Sí, sería how well. Eh, la normal, lo que sí estaban, eh, así como lo estaban haciendo ustedes, el how well, do you type, eso sería lo... lo la pregunta, lo correcto. Y, lo correcto, how well do you. ¿Será que hace falta que escribamos el type otra vez? Toda la respuesta, eh, toda la pregunta ahí. Probemos. El signo. No. Voy a dejarlo a dos, no había intentado ya. Y después todo. Ya, ya lo he puesto. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, can you? Because I can, uh, I can use a uh, moral teacher. Why yeah, use yeah. a moral? Uh, because we, we're talking about abilities, porque como ah, está hablando okay. de una habilidad, entonces okay. acuérdense que el auxiliar para habilidades es can. Can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How else can you Thank talk? you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> para los que no han llegado ahí, anoten. <laughs> How well can you help? How well uh -huh. can you, How well can you but, type? But, but yeah, when you use play, for example, teacher, is ability, no? Jugar, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Pero eh, que cuando decimos yo soy bueno en esto, soy ah, bueno sí, sí. en aquello, entonces usamos el at. How good el verbo to be y el at. Um, I am good at. Yo ah. creo decir que soy buena... Eh, mm, uh, okay. <laughs> Cocinando. I am good at cooking. Uh -huh. yeah? okay. Si yo quiero decir que yo soy bueno haciendo algo, utilizo el verbo to be, de ser o estar, y el at. Entonces uh -huh. yo soy bueno jugando tal cosa. I am good at volleyball. Uh -huh. Y el at me se utiliza solamente para, para indicar algo en lo que yo soy bueno o porque... Yo he leído a veces, por ejemplo, cuando ponen en el trabajo, se lo ponen at work. Entonces, no sé. Eh, ahí es una preposición de lugar. De lugar. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, ajá, ya es una preposición de lugar. Ok, me alegra haberles ayudado con el ejercicio. Thank you, teacher. Y es bueno, y, y esa es la importancia de que ustedes traten de hacer los ejercicios antes de la clase, porque aquí podemos decir... 
vaya, cuando estamos en la urgencia de solventarlo, solo tiramos la respuesta en el grupo de WhatsApp. <risa> solo responde tal cosa, responde tal cosa. Aquí decimos por qué. Ah, aquí puedo usar el can porque estamos hablando de una habilidad. Por eso es how well can you type. Uh -huh. Igual puede ser el do, but uh, that's another option is can, y la opción el por qué de can, porque can es yeah. para habilidades. Yo ya había usado el do. Mm -hmm. También. No Acuérdense no, no, que, no. Ah. Si usted, sí, no, pero no, no se traume, Osmel, por favor, no. El do <laughs> está bien, how well do you type, it's okay, está bien. No, no, pero acuérdense que las respuestas en la plataforma son cerradas. O es blanco o es negro. Era la cascarita de plátano. Y es eso. Hay cascaritas, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí es como que, ah, usar el Ken porque estamos hablando de una habilidad. Entonces lo más apropiado es Ken. Solo una pregunta. ¿Cómo voy a distinguir cuando digo how well o how good? Eso no, no comprendo la diferencia cuando usarlo. Si es cuando una habilidad o, o es igual, no lo sé. Porque yo entiendo cuán bueno soy en esto, cuán bueno soy en lo otro. Ambas cosas significan lo mismo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Es una diferencia de utilizarlo, teacher. How well, Eso how Este es el hard. Este es el hard. Puede usar independientemente uno o el otro. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Any other question before we continue? I sent some uh, questions that they are sample questions. Yesterday we were studying the frequency adverbs. Uh, we must say uh, definite frequency adverbs and indefinite frequency adverbs. ¿Cuándo lo puede usar? No hay una regla que diga si tengo que usar uno o el otro, ¿verdad? Simplemente es Depende de qué tan exacto quiero ser en la información que le voy a brindar. Entonces, tenemos unas preguntas que se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Eso les puse sample questions. Because, the words are, they are just sample questions. You can use them or you can use some different questions. Let us read the ones that we have here. Um, How often do you, how often do you ride a bike? How often do you ride a bike, Irving? Um, I never ride a bike. Okay. What about you, Oscar? How often do you ride a bike? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Ah, uh, well, eh. Uh, ¿Puede repetirme la pregunta que hay de mí? ¿De qué me dijo? What about you? Uh, yeah. How often do you ride a bike? How often? ¿Qué me dijo? Disculpa que estoy algo distraído. Aparte que no entiendo mucho tampoco. No worries. How often do you ride a bike? Ah, okay. I understand you. Excuse me. Oh, every day, teacher. Oh, you ride a bike every, every day. Every day. Wonderful. Every morning. I go into go the city in my bike. Uh, I sell chicken every day in the morning. All right. Excellent. Amazing. And what about the rest of you? Um, uh let's see a uh, different question different um I one that is not in the in the exercise Josue, how often do you how often do you eat junk food yeah. good evening uh how how often i sorry how often do you eat I'm going to write it in the chat. Junk okay, okay. food. Do you know what is junk food? Yeah. I don't know no. what kind of food is. Not pizza. Pizza. Hamburgers. Pizza. Yeah, Not healthy. 
Yes, that's the word. Comida yeah, okay, chatarra. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I usually eat food once a week. Once a week? Yes, oh. once a week. <laughs> you eat junk food once a week. Mm. I think it's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, please. <laughs> okay. So, as you see, you can use the ones that you have in the exercise, or you can write different questions. Use how often do you write at least three questions that you would like to ask your classmate. Write them in your notebook. Three questions. How often do you? And then I compliment. <laughs> Write at least the questions. Oscar, escriba tres preguntas. How often do you invent the rest? Teacher, ¿qué están haciendo? Disculpe. Ay, excuse me. Oscar, ahí sí que se le pasa. <ríe> Tenemos que escribir tres preguntas. Eh, yo les mandé algunas. No, no, las puedo escribir en su cuaderno. Similares a las que les mandé en el WhatsApp. Tiene que escribir how often do you? Y luego escribir un verbo. ¿Qué le quisiera preguntar a un compañero? Eh, ¿Qué tan seguido... Eh, ¿Qué tan seguido tomas té caliente? Por ejemplo, yo quiero preguntar, ¿qué tan seguido tomas té caliente? How often do you? Y luego pongo el verbo que en este caso sería drink. Y luego el complemento, hot tea. How often do you drink hot tea? Esta es una pregunta. Y así va a ser tres, okay. tres preguntas, escriba, usando okay, how teacher. can do you. Y luego las vamos a practicar. How, 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 how often do you drink coffee? How often do you coffee? How often do you drink coffee? It's good, teacher. How often do you listen? Teacher, una consulta. Si yo quiero escribir how often do you go at Mark, eh, ¿puedo poner el at ahí o cómo sería? A market. How often do you go to? To, to a market. Mm -hmm. To a market. Yes. Oh, okay. To the market. How often do you go to the market or to the supermarket? Teacher. I finished, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, I um, finished. Okay, so now that most of you have finished, I'm going to create a section group. 
Remember that you're going to take turns asking and answering those questions to your classmates. <clears throat> you can use your questions and also the questions that I sent in the WhatsApp group. All right, so let's create the section and write this. Hi. Good evening, Alfredo. Good evening, Diego. Hello, Ewing. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Kelly, how often do you drink a coffee? Hello. Hello. Do you know in what what section are we or, or in what lesson? Because I am new, I don't know. I don't know in what section. What lesson? Hmm. Hi. Okay, si quieren organicémonos, sí. Um, Edwin, eh, le puedes preguntar a Alfredo o, o a Diego, no sé. Ok. Creo que no estamos como que muy organizados. Ok, Alfredo. Ok. How often do you drink hop, hop tea? I drink. Ah, I. I. Once a week. One week to drink a thief. A, a, a cup thief. Okay, I think a cup of tea once a week. Yes, one, one a week. And, and, one and me, week. Uh, Edwin, mm -hmm. how do you how do you how often do you drive a car? I usually drive a car. Yeah. Okay. Now you can continue it when we work questions for another classmate. Oh, how often do you visit the dentist? I... 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 I once a month. Once a month. I visit? Visit a dentist. Once a month. Time. Once a month. Okay, good. Yes. Continue. Okay. Uh, how often do you drink a coffee, Edwin? Um, every day. <laughs> I, every day, I drink co coffee. I drink coffee every day. Okay. 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 Ahora, okay. Con Diego. Okay. Diego, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, how often do you eat vegetable in the dinner? Uh, but I don't know if that question we can we can be creative, creative or yes. I am ready uh, or we need to read something. No, you create them. Okay. I can do that question. Okay, how often? But what about the question that Kelly asked you? What? How often, how often okay. do you? Hello? 
Hello. Uh, okay, Lila Tonka. Yes. I question that. How often do you eat vegetable in the dinner? Okay. Um, uh, I eat vegetable twice a week. Okay. I will do that question. How? Ask uh, Carlos. Okay. Carlos, how often do you tell your mom I love you a day? Uh, I don't live with my mom, but I I go to her house uh, on weekend. Uh, okay. I I say I love you uh, every weekend, every sar nice. Saturday or, or Sunday. Mm -hmm. Nice, I got this. Thank you. Now, uh, number two, how often do you play video games at week? Um, I like play uh, PlayStation every day, but I don't. I I I can't. I can't because time, my my work. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but I like I like it very much. You like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now number three. How often do you drive a car a day? Uh, every day I go to my homework in a car every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, I understand. But Fátima. Yeah. Fátima hizo las preguntas ya, ¿no? Sí, ya, las, ya se las hizo, Jorge. Sí, ah, sí, ya. Sí, no sí, sé las, si las mismas. Otras tres. No termina el tiempo. Cinco minutos, Dios. No. no ¿cuánto, ¿Cuánto tiempo, Dios? No, no. You are mute, teacher. You still have time. Ah, so we have time? Okay. Uh, let me ask you this case, um, Carlos. Um, how often do you practice English a day? Um, I practice English uh, in the night and sometime uh, in the morning with my 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 work is easy okay mm -hmm. now fatima can i ask you um, um fatima how often do you sing in english uh how often sing in english I often, like that. Um, <laughs> quizás occasionally. Yes, occasionally. Okay. If you want to ask, uh, ask. how often do you drink coca? And Josué, and Carlos, and Fatima? I, I don't like coca. I never, I never drink. Why? I already drink coke. coke. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer, I prefer water. Uh, okay, and you, Fatima? How often do you drink coca? Como? How often do you drink coca? I usually drink coca. Mm. Hey, Jose. I'm sorry, Walter. Te voy a internet muy inestable ahorita. How often file the internet in your country? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Almost every day. 
yeah, almost every, every day. day. <laughs> okay, so the question would be how often does your internet kick you out? Or oh, fell down. <laughs> oh, fell down, yes. That's another possibility. Fell down. So, how was your practice? Excellent, teacher. Okay, great, awesome. I like that you uh, practice because this is the chance where you can interact with other people in yeah. English. Yes. And you did a, a very, very nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will continue with this. Um, uh, mm -hmm. So let me share my screen again. Mm -hmm. Where is the PowerPoint? Here it is. Okay, so what you have here is, well, we're going to continue practicing and you have some vocabulary in your um, material that can be useful too. Let me see if I... Okay, this is vocabulary that you have in the material that you download from the platform. We have some vocabulary here. Let's see, we have basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer, uh, weight training, treadmill, stretching, walking, jogging. Is there any new word for you? Stretching. Yes. Okay, stretch stretching is? Estiramiento. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Estiramiento, stretching. And treadmill, teacher. The treadmill yeah. is la banda, la que le dicen banda ah. sin fin, en la que se camina o corre para practicar ah, cardio. Okay. Treadmill. Mm -hmm. La caminadora, que le dicen. Yes, la caminadora. Y jogging, sí, es trotar. Mm -hmm. Y weight training es el entrenamiento de pesas. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Jogging es yoga. Perdón, ¿qué, ¿qué dijo que era treadmill? La, la caminadora. Caminadora o banda sin mm fin. -hmm. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Okay. Jogging is yoga. No. Yes. What is jogging? La última. Trotar. Jogging. Trotar. Ah, trotar. 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 Ah. trotar. Uh -huh. Jogging. jogging. Sí. Y el ejercicio yoga es yoga. Así como lo vemos en español, así es en inglés yoga. De hecho, creo que ah, sí. ahí viene eso. <ríe> es invento. Ah. Yoga. <laughs> that is yoga. Okay, any other question about this vocabulary? Teacher, dijo que stretching, stretching, stretching era la terminadora. Teacher. Eso fue solo una coincidencia. Okay, so. Vaya, dijimos que treadmill es la caminadora o banda sin fin. Stretching es estiramiento. Y jogging es trotar. Ok, so, if, is there any other question? Tenemos no. Caminar, walking. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, then we have another exercise. It's about uh, the pronunciation exercise. It's intonation or uh, direct address. What does it mean? Uh, the intonation that we use for direct address. Tenemos este video 
de la pronunciación o la entonación que se utiliza cuando estamos haciendo direct address. ¿Alguien ya vio el video en la plataforma? No. ¿No? Ok, so we're going to share it. And this is uh, when we are, um, when we mention the person we are talking to, the intonation tends to be falling. And then it raises again. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, so that was the video. As you can see there in the video, when you are using this type of uh, sentences, eh, el direct address se refiere a que mencionamos el nombre de la persona a quien nos estamos di dirigiendo. Eh, originalmente, esta, la entonación tiende a bajar un poco y luego eh, vuelve a ser, a, a normalizarse, entonando un poco hacia arriba. You really see it, Paul. You look tired, Mary. I feel great, Dr. Lee. So that is basically the, the pronunciation. Page 38, exercise 5, pronunciation. Intonation with direct address. Part A, listen and practice. Notice these statements with direct address. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. You look tired, Marie. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay. So, did you notice? ¿Pudieron notar ese, esa entonación hacia abajo cuando estamos usando ese tipo de speech? La de direct yes. address. Ok. So, um, you can use that in questions as well, and this is what we're going to practice right now. Um, we're going to practice with these questions or taking this phone in groups. We um, it is not necessary to take notes, but we are going to practice uh, with this. Um, in order to develop the practice, I'm going to ask you to be creative. Why? Because uh, ya veo que algunos por no participar, si le preguntan, um, do you ever go to a gym? Aunque vayan, dicen no. Y los grandes músculos así, ¿verdad? Y solo dicen no para no practicar, para no hacer speaking, ¿verdad? para que digan, ah, pues ya no te pregunto. <laughs> Entonces van a decir que sí, aunque no vayan. <laughs> so this is for speaking practice. And we can, uh, before we move to the exercise, we can practice pronunciation together. Let's repeat. Do you have a regular fitness program? Do you have do a, you regular have a regular, fitness program? Program? regular fitness program? How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? Do you ever go to a gym? Do you ever go to a gym? How often do you go? How do you go? How often do you go? What do you do there? Uh, what do you there? What, what do you do there? What do you do there? Do you play any sport? Do you, do you play, play any sport? Do you play any sport? Which ones? Which ones? Which, which ones? Which ones? How often do you play them? How often, How do, often them? do you play them? Do you ever take long walks? Do you, do you ever, ever take long, long walks? Walk? 
How often? How often? Where do you go? Where do, Where do, you, do, you, go? do you go? What else do you do to keep fit? What, what else, else do you do you to keep fit? Keep fit? Keep fit. <laughs> Is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation before we move to the group work? The last question, what that means? What else do you do to keep fit? Um, what else? What, what else? else? ¿Qué más? What else? ¿Qué más? Ajá. ¿Qué, qué otra cosa haces? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ponerse en forma. ¿Qué más haces para mantenerte en forma? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, hay gente que aparte de ir al gimnasio, ¿qué más hace para mantenerse en forma? Eh, evita comida que tarda. No comer. Dice dieta. No, 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 dieta. <ríe> o consumir. Dance. Ah, dance. Ajá. Uh -huh. That can be another production. Ok, so we're going to move to the section group. I'm going to create a breakout room. So you can practice this um, question. And I need to answer this question, teacher, or only repeat? Uh, you need to answer. Tienen que okay. responder. Y tienen que inventarse la respuesta para que no sea no. Porque si usted responde que no, hasta ahí llega y ya no hay chiste, ya no hay práctica. Que, ok. Van a ponerse creativos y a inventar, ¿verdad? La sinceridad ante todo, teacher. En, en este campo no, no lo vamos a aplicar. I be honest. Yeah, I mean, for example, I don't like to walk. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I walk from time to time, but I don't take mm -hmm. it. Because I need to practice speaking, I'm going to invent an answer. Uh, if you ask me, do you ever take long walks? And I say, yes, I usually, or, or I can say, yes, I take long walks every weekend. Where do you go? Um, I go to Parque Bicentenario and I walk for five hours. <laughs> Something like that. Do you have to create or invent the answer? Let us. Practice speaking in good. Teacher. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. No, you won't be sir. Eh, ¿quién le va a preguntar? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 uh, no, no problem. Do you have a regular fitness program? Um, um, wow, <laughs> good. Question. good question. Uh, do you have a regular fitness? Yeah, um, yes, I check a, a regular fitness program in my life. Yes, yes. Okay, how often do you exercise? Um, three times a week. I I I do exercise three times a week. Okay. Do you ever go to a gym? Okay, I remember I went to the gym. <gasps> wow, two years ago, I remember. Actually, um, right now. I I don't go to the gym. Okay. How often do you go? Um 
What question do you? How often do you go? Ah, three times. I like it. Good one. Okay. How often do you play soccer? Uh, once a week. And how to it? Do yes. you ever take long walks? Do you ever take long walks? Um, yes, I, we have to invent, right? Yes, I every day take really long walks, trust me. <laughs> how often do you walk? I walk every day at 5 a.m. Again? Okay. I walk every day at 5 a.m. Where okay. do you go? Hmm. Sorry? Where do you go? Oh, I take this kind of walks at Vicentenario Park. Mm -hmm. I'm inventing, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, um, can I ask uh, maybe Claudia? Yes. Claudia, uh, do you ever go to a gym? Mm, yes, I do. I I usually sometimes I I I often no I I sometimes I go a uh, gym. Sometimes I go. Sometimes to I go to the gym. Yes. Okay. Teacher, what happened? Only one minute. A little time. We are excited practicing. <laughs> Not enough time. <laughs> Micrófono, teacher. ¿Cómo está platicando? <laughs> Tenía apagado el micrófono. ¿Estás mute? Teacher? Teacher? No dicen. <laughs> We can't. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> ¿Qué me dicen cuando ya les di un gran discurso? <laughs> Okay, so, um, vamos a tener más speaking practice eh, en las próximas sesiones. Necesitamos avanzar. Eh, vamos a, a chequear attendance, a la asistencia, y luego vamos a ir al listening exercise. Es un listening rapidito. Eh, pero si sí, es parte de, para que vayan desarrollando todas las habilidades. Practicando. Nice. Okay, so Aida Maria. Present teacher. Alejandro Ernesto. Present teacher. Eh, Alfredo Antonio. Present. Ana Trinidad. Present. Carlos Armando. Present teacher. Claudia Stephanie. Present teacher. Diego Edgardo. Present teacher. Dinora Estela. Dinora Estela. ¿Dónde está Dinora? Mm. 